power plate machines can be found in over 100 countries worldwide. But here in the UK, you're likely to find them in a mixture of gyms, studios, top sports training facilities, people's homes, and even in the workplace. This, though, is the power plate academy. This is where all the accredited courses are taught. So it's not a fad, it really is a top machine with a lot of accreditation. I've been working for the company about four years, involved in the training and education, and I want to take you inside the academy and give you an insight into what this machine can actually do. The principle behind acceleration training, which is what you're doing on power plate machines, is that the platform vibrates up and down between 30 and 50 times per second. So if you imagine how fast the movement is, I mean, you can't even clap that fast. I mean, 30 times per second of movement is very rapid. And in response, your muscles contract and relax at a similar speed. So if I'm standing on this vibration platform with the machine set on 30 hertz of frequencies, my muscles are automatically contracting and relaxing 30 times per second. So this machine is working your muscles faster than they've ever been challenged before. And if I select that setting of 30 hertz, I can choose to do each exercise between 30 and 60 seconds. So let's select 30 seconds, which we would for a beginner. I can then put it on a higher or low amplitude. Now that amplitude setting is like the intensity. The amplitude is how much vertical movement you get with each vibration. Two millimeters on low, four millimeters on high. So basically you're doubling the intensity or doubling the force of gravity that's going through the body. And this is the principle behind acceleration training. You're accelerating the force of gravity through the body and therefore how hard the body has to work to overcome the core force of gravity. This basic squat position means my muscles, my muscle spindles, are gonna detect the vibration. They're gonna send a message through my central nervous system out through the neurons to the muscles to contract at the same rate. The best way for me to show you exactly the movement that's being created by this platform is to place a golf ball in the middle of the platform, switch the machine on, and you can see what's being created there, back in the center. I mean, it's basically jumping in response to that vibration. When you've got more weight, more mass going through the machine, as we would when we stand on the machine, you see what effect it will be having on the muscles. So in its most basic sense, this is a form of strength training. Most of us, when we think of strength training, we think about lifting mass. Think about dumbbells, barbells, medicine balls, some form of mass. And the force we produce is a result of mass times acceleration. And normally, the only acceleration acting on the body is that of gravity of 9.81 meters per second squared. With power plate, you're no longer changing the mass by lifting weights. Your mass is just your body weight. Instead, we're increasing the acceleration. It's another component that affects the force we produce. And as you'll see, the force can be produced with a lot less stress on the joints, a lot more, less impact through the body, and therefore it can be a safer, more efficient way of developing strength. And the muscles work with better synchronization as well because of the constant messages being sent to them automatically through the neural system. So this really is an amazing piece of technology which can tone, reshape your body, as well as a number of other benefits. So I'm going to take you through some of my favorite exercises for different body parts, starting with the abdominals, because it's the first thing people want to know about, is how to get toned abs. Some of the best abdominal exercises are Pilates-based exercises, working on core and stability. And remember, the vibration is stimulating a higher percent muscle fiber recruitment. I started vibrating. I'm just going to slowly raise and lower one arm and another. And the key is that I don't shift my hips from side to side, they stay completely even. So this is developing stability around my shoulders, my core, my glutes and my hips. And again, these exercises don't look particularly challenging, but remember the muscles are working incredibly quickly and overcoming the increased acceleration. So that was just 30 seconds. That was a straight arm plank. Another good one is the basic plank. So I'm gonna hit repeat again. Okay, I've got my bottom slightly lifted, I'm drawing in with my elbows. Now that's its most basic form, but there's many ways to make this more difficult. So if you squeeze your leg in and out, in and out, or round, back, round and back. Another alternative is to lift a leg and an arm. And you hold each of these positions for around 30 to 60 seconds before moving on to the next one. A great idea is to incorporate some mass, such as a medicine ball, into these abdominal exercises 
So if you think about the fact we're increasing acceleration and we're increasing mass, the force output you get through using this machine, through using power plate machine, is incredible. This is one of my favorites. Hook your feet up here, holding the um, medicine ball, and you're just gonna twist from side to side. So we're working the obliques and the lower abdominals because our legs are raised. You can also take it back and raise up. And so it's more challenging, hold it further down and twist from side to side. Slowly come up and relax. Another 30 seconds. You can alternate. Do the straight leg version. So basically just accumulating 30 to 60 seconds of each position and then moving into a different position to target a different muscle group. So you can really tone and, and shape whatever it is you want. Now this is where it gets challenging. I've now incorporated the use of a gym ball and I'm going to roll back and pull in. Roll back. I'm really clawing with my lower abs on the way, the way up. I have to keep my back straight, my glutes tight, and my arms strong. This is not easy, <laughs> believe me. And it does require a lot of stability. But it's the best way to get the lower abs is to lengthen and draw in. I can even expand that up onto my toes and back down again for a greater movement. Squatting on power plate for 30 seconds on 30 hertz of frequency produces 900 muscle contractions. That's like conventionally doing 900 squats. Let me hit the repeat button and get into one of my favorites, the ski squat. I'm pushing through my heels so I can feel it through my glutes and through my quadriceps. If I center my foot, I can extend the other leg, so I'm doing a single leg squat. Very similar to what you might do in the gym against a wall with the gym ball, for example. Into the other leg. Obviously going from two legs to, to one leg makes it more challenging. You can add dynamic movement as well to make it more functional. So you might want to simply go through the full range of motion. And pulse it. So I keep the pretension in the thighs. Makes it a little bit more difficult. And then hold at the most challenging point for the last five seconds. You may have noticed there's some straps attached to the plate. Now the vibrations transferred through the straps to the muscle that's under tension. And I'm going to show you a deadlift, which is again common one for developing strength in the legs in the gym. With power plate, you hold it quite low down, back flat, and pull as if you're trying to pull the machine out of the ground. So it's an isometric position, but your muscles are still moving automatically. So it's what we call a pseudo-isometric position. It really is pull hard. The harder you pull, the more intense the contraction. But it's essential that position is good because you're educating muscle and movement patterns through power plate very quickly. I'm going to incorporate some weight again for this calf raise um, because I feel I just need a little bit more challenge to my calf muscles. So I'm holding a, a kettlebell. Hit the repeat button again. I'm going to right up onto my toes. You probably hear this in my voice a little bit, so it's always a good idea to slightly bend the knees, take the vibration out of the head. So I'm adding mass and acceleration, so my muscles are really being worked to the max. It's requiring extra stability and a bit of concentration. If you want to make that dynamic, I can raise up and down as if I'm doing a calf raise. And it's starting to burn just after 30 seconds, okay? This is very much for a beginner 30 seconds. You would obviously build up to 60 seconds, but when you're adding mass, again, you do have to take the time down a little bit. 
And finally, for the legs, I'm going to show you a great stability and isolation exercise for the ankle, knee, and glutes. So, in a single leg position, with my knees slightly bent, I'm going to lean forward and slowly see if I can balance in that position. So, I'm trying to keep my hips even, my glutes tensed. Okay, all these exercises can be done on the floor. They're probably familiar to a lot of you. But again, the vibration is intensifying this. Okay, for the upper body, bingo wings tend to be a target area for a lot of women especially. I know men like to work them out as well for their tight t-shirts. So I'm going to use the straps to do a tricep kickback. Okay, so a slight bend in my knees, leaning forward at the chest. With my arms slightly unlocked, I'm pulling back as hard as I can. And that's the key with these straps. The harder you pull, the more intense the vibration is to the muscle. At the moment, I'm targeting the short head of tricep. If I just turn my hands around, I hit the long head of tricep, which tends to be a little bit neglected. If the straps start to shake, it means I'm losing my, my pull on my grip, and I need to just work on pulling and tensing a little bit harder. And my favorite shoulder Tony exercise is the lat raise. Again, I'm pulling through the straps, keeping the neck relaxed, the shoulders down, pulling along the length of the arm. I can move into a front raise as well. Again, all the time pulling up through the straps so the vibration is transferred to the muscle and it's causing those muscle contractions. into the push-up exercises. There's so many variations which I'm sure you're all familiar with. So in a basic push-up position, either held statically or dynamically. Put the hands together for a tricep push, again statically or dynamically. And we can split the arms, hold a split, split push-up one way. Or another way, moving a clap push up. I feel like showing up. <laughs> this machine is fully IFI accredited, Inclusive Fitness Initiative accredited to level two. And you can see by the colour coding on the straps and the um, tactile buttons on the screen that it's inclusive for visual impairments and other forms of disability with the height of the platform and so forth. So, like I say, a real top bit of kit. So the demos I've just showed you are strength-based exercises designed to strengthen and tone the body. But it's not just about strength training. Powerplate has a huge number of other benefits as well. You can use it for massage and relaxation. So the vibration literally stimulates and breaks down tight tissue in the muscle areas that you place on the plate. So you use a higher frequency to stimulate greater muscle recovery and repair. Also absolutely fantastic for improving flexibility. The vibration again has an automatic response on the Golgi tendon organs that detect the tension in the muscle and it stimulates them to relax the muscles at a faster rate. So we see huge improvements in people's flexibility. As with any bit of exercise equipment or well-being equipment, you should always consult your physician first, your doctor, to ensure that you're okay to exercise on this particular piece of equipment. The only thing we'd say is for women who are pregnant, it's probably advisable not to use it until post-pregnancy when it's fantastic for toning up those pelvic floor muscles. And anyone else with any other conditions which they'd be worried about, obviously consult the doctor. But otherwise, it's an amazing machine that reduces the impact on the joints, enables you to get fit, get toned, get strong, without spending hours in the gym.